Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Monday, the 13th of January. I'm James Spann. A lot of weather on the plate this week. We've got rain today, two cold shots ahead later in the week, and maybe a few snow flurries along the way. Uh, so let's get in there and discuss. This is the big picture, the water vapor satellite view around the nation this morning. Pretty good looking trough coming at us from the west. That is a phased long wave trough. And you know that's going to bring some rain in here. That was the radar at 5.04 this morning. Good soaking rain falling uh, over Fayette County and parts of uh, the adjacent counties up in northwest Alabama. That rain will be ex expanding east and south during the day today. At daybreak, numbers are, uh, well, are kind of all over the board. You've got mid-30s in northeast Alabama and low 50s up around the shoals. But the highs today should be fairly consistent with the rain settling in with highs between, uh, I'd say, 50 and 55 in most locations. And man, what a difference a week makes. Uh, these numbers, nothing like the brutal cold we saw a week ago. However, we've got uh, a couple of cold shots this week. Uh, we'll see phase one on Wednesday, phase two on Friday with Alberta Clippers coming in from the northwest. There's a watch warning map around the nation this morning. High wind warnings for parts of the northern states. Also some winter weather advisories up there, but things are quiet here across the deep south. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning, and this is suggesting rain amounts of about one-half inch, and most all of that will be today. And for the snow fans, this is the chance of accumulating snow greater than one inch from tomorrow evening until Wednesday evening. And uh, you can see maybe evidence of a little bit of a snow accumulation northeast of here, especially over the Great Smokies. And again, we're going to mention snow flurries Wednesday morning, but don't get your hopes up. We don't expect any... Uh, significant accumulation issues this far south. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today, and this is where the pressure is 500 millibars, about 18 to 20,000 feet off the ground. There's the trough to the west, and down below that, uh, rain indeed will be widespread today, just a rainy day and a Monday. And for some of us, it gets us down. And if you're old like me, you might remember that song from the uh, Carpenters. All right, uh, tomorrow that rain is gone, and really tomorrow is going to be a nice day, uh, partly to mostly sunny with a high in the mid to upper 50s, uh, kind of like yesterday, kind of like Sunday. But don't get used to it because look what happens Wednesday. Boom. Uh, the uh, clipper comes down from the northwest, sharpening up the eastern trough, and uh, boy, the thickness values just drop like a rock. Now, the air coming in, it's not uh, the same origin as the air we saw last week. It's modified, but still, it's going to be cold. I'm not so sure uh, we get out of the 30s on Wednesday. If we do, maybe low 40s and a pretty good north wind at that to make it feel colder. North winds are probably about 10 to 18. Now, snow lovers, this is the NAM, the high-res NAM, valid uh, uh, Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock, and everybody gets excited about that. Uh, that's all light snow over north and northeast Alabama. And uh, you can see that freeze line kind of hanging around Birmingham. And, and again, the, the, the surface temperatures don't matter when it comes to snow. That's, that's determined by temperatures at about 5,000 feet off the ground. That, that freeze line at the surface can help you determine if anything stays on the ground. Uh, and this is the snow depth coming off the NAM uh, Wednesday at noon. It's suggesting a dusting uh, for parts of northeast Alabama, northeast of Birmingham. And, uh, again, it's trying to maybe suggest a half inch on some of the ridges up there. But don't get your hopes up because this is the European, uh, the snow depth Wednesday at noon. I mean, it's got nothing, and I think it's closer to being right. No doubt there's a good chance we'll see snow flurries. In fact, a very good chance, I think, Wednesday morning. But... Uh, the odds of anything accumulating at this point would seem to be very, very small. But again, cold and windy. Now, this is Thursday, and we moderate a little bit. Highs go back in the low and mid-50s. But, yep, another clipper 
comes down the pike, and on Friday, the trough sharpens up again, and another cold air shot on Friday. And uh, this one seems to be a little colder, and again, I would suggest the high Friday would be in the uh, upper 30s with a good north wind that might keep the wind chill index around freezing all day. And the same thing, I guess there might be a few snow flurries early Friday morning, but I'd say not as likely as Wednesday morning. This is Saturday. Now, Saturday morning is going to be cold. I think we'll easily see a lot of spots reaching the upper teens uh, to start the weekend. But we should warm up into the 40s on Saturday, and this is Sunday. And the high would be in the low 50s if this is right. Uh, Low Sunday morning in the 20s. So kind of a chilly weekend. Those mornings very cold, uh, but at least the weekend will be dry. And a week from today, the moderating trend continues. We should see mid-50s if this is right. We'll go out there a little deeper in the month. This is January 26th. After a moderating trend, another trough in the east, another shot of cold air. And on the 28th, we warm up, and we've got a storm system west of the state. So it looks like the weather's going to be very changeable. I think that's going to be the theme for the rest of uh, January. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.